Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited even more so than usual because we are right in the middle of one of my favorite times of year. We are in the midst of the Sephora holiday savings event. So this only happens twice a year where you can get a discount on all of your favorite products from Sephora. So today I'm gonna be doing a haul. I probably will place a couple more orders, so don't be surprised if you see another haul coming. But I also want to say thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. Every time I get to work with them, it truly is like a pinch me moment. As you guys know, I do a lot of Sephora content on my channel, so I really appreciate them supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. So I will link everything that I haul today down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into what I picked up during the Sephora holiday savings event. The Sephora Holiday Savings event is happening right now. This event started on October 28th and it ends on November 7th. This is the time that you stock up. This only happens twice a year, so replenish your favorite products, maybe try a luxury item that you've been eyeing, or a great time for gifts because they do have a ton of value sets and gifts for the holiday and then you add the discount on top and it's an incredible deal. Now to shop this event, you do have to be a member of the Sephora Beauty Insider program. It's completely free to sign up so I will have a link at the top of my description box. Definitely sign up, take advantage of these discounts. Now Sephora does have three different tiers so I wanna go over each tier, the dates to shop and the percentage off. Rouge members got first access to shop this event starting October 20th eighth through October 31st. They also do get the largest discount at 20% off. Now today is the first day for VIB members to shop. They do get 15% off their order and they are able to shop starting today through the 7th. And then insiders get 10% off their orders and they are able to shop starting November 3rd through the 7th. On top of that, every tier gets free shipping. No minimum order amount. Any order that you make, you get free shipping, which is an extra perk as well. The promo code for all tiers is savings and that is unlimited use. You can use it in store and online as many times as you'd like. Along with the tier specific discount, Sephora collection is available at 30% off to all tiers throughout the entire event. So starting on October 28th through November 7th, 30% off Sephora collection for all tiers. You do use that same promo code savings and that will apply. This offer is valid for both the US and Canada as well as Kohl's and this discount is not stackable. So I will leave all the dates and details I just went over in my description box and I will also have a link to join the Beauty Insider program if you haven't already. It's completely free so that will be at the top of my description box and that way you can shop this event. You can also go in store, do curbside, they have same day delivery. So there's really so many options whether you just want to order online like I typically do or go in store and check out the products. But I think that's all the information I wanted to give you guys and let's go ahead and jump into what I picked up for the Sephora holiday savings event. So let's start off with a couple products from Fenty Beauty. Fenty came out with a pretty small holiday drop but I did end up grabbing a couple items. The first being the double cheeked up cream blush duo. First of all I love the packaging and I love the names for her products. So this is a cream blush duo with two new shades. Now Fenty did come out with cream blushes way long ago and they were really really small compacts and they weren't split pan but they have done split pan powder highlighters so this makes me wonder if they are going to come out with more shades in this capacity so having like the split pan cream blush so let me swatch these. I am wearing these today. The formula on these is sort of just in the middle. It's not overly pigmented. It's not sheer. And I don't find it hard to work with. It goes over my powder. I'm wearing it right now. I just use a sponge to apply. Really, I like the pink shade in here. And I don't know if these are crazy different, but I did just mix them together and they blended out into a really pretty pink on my cheeks. So it does make me curious. I would really honestly like to see more more blushes, different colors in this split pan. Her original ones were just really small and I actually prefer the split pan with two different colors to those small compacts. So hopefully she does come out with more shades. Also from Fenty Beauty, I did end up getting the trio of gloss bombs. So this is called the Glossy Posse Volume 5. I've not even swatched these, but this has three different formulas in them. So we have a gloss bomb heat, a gloss bomb cream, and then the original. 
I have all different types, but I don't think I have any of these shades. I believe these are all new, so let me go ahead and get these out so we can swatch them. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched all three glosses. I really like her formula because they have pigment behind them. I've said many times that I really like a gloss with pigment. So this top one is just an original gloss bomb, and this is in the color Fuchsia Flex. I don't know if I own anything like this. And then in the middle, we have the Gloss Bomb Heat, and this is in Fenty Glow Heat 03. So these are a little bit of like a tingle on your lips. They have a little bit of like a spicy sort of feel to them, but nothing overpowering. And then this one is a Gloss Bomb Cream, and this is in the color Cupcake In. So that's a really pretty pink shade. So I like that she did three full-size glosses in here, and I also like that she did different formulas so that you can try them out maybe if you're new to Fenty Beauty. I also like that they're not similar. All three of these look different enough so you could break this apart and gift them to you know your family or friends or just keep them all for yourself. So I love this formula and I wanted to try some of the new shades for holiday. I did also pick up a holiday kit from Charlotte Tilbury. People rave about her light wands. So I grabbed this dreamy superstar glow kit. So you have a pink gasm easy highlighter and then a spotlight easy highlighter. So they're both the beauty light wands, but one of them has like a pinky hue to it. And then the other one is just sort of like a typical highlighter. So these are minis, but I think this is such a good way to try out more expensive products. Like for me, I have so many products, I don't need full sizes, and I really just wanted to test out these formulas, and I just thought this was such a cute gift idea. If you have someone in your life that really loves these or loves Charlotte Tilbury, or you wanna break it up. So I'm gonna swatch for Spotlight. So these have like a sponge on the tip, which can be a little messy, but you can lock it and then unlock it. So it's something to get used to, but this is the shade Spotlight, which I feel like is a really pretty pink liquid highlighter. And then this one, I feel like a lot of people go nuts over, and this is Pink Gasm. So I was almost going to use this as more of like a blush topper. I would say this is more of a blush for my skin tone, and then obviously if you have a deeper skin tone, then that would be a highlighter. It's really gorgeous. It almost looks like NARS Orgasm, dare I say, but in a liquid form. So I know people really, really love these products. I don't know why I never really got crazy into them, but when I saw this duo at that price and that they were minis, I thought that I would pick it up and try them out. Next, I wanna talk about a couple primers I picked up. I've actually heard really good things about this first primer, and I have to say that I have found so many new smoothing primers that are so good, but I had heard a lot of you recommend this. This is the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector. So this is supposed to be a blurring primer, and it also says that it's supposed to visibly reduce redness for an instant photo filtered look. Now, I did notice, because I used this today, this definitely has a tint to it. It's not anything crazy, but it does have almost like this nude sort of brown color to it. And then when you blend it out, you really can't see it. But I didn't notice anything about my redness. I hadn't really read that claim, so I'll have to keep testing it out. I really like it so far. I mean, I've had my makeup on for a few hours now. I do feel like my skin looks nice and smooth. I've really been loving a lot of different smoothing primers, but I'm honestly pleasantly surprised by this one too, and I'm excited to keep trying it. I keep sort of saying I wanna do like a battle of the smoothing primers because honestly, there's so many that are really wowing me, but I did also pick up another of my favorite. This is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam. This is my number one smoothing primer right now. I've talked to you guys about this many times. This one blew me away. It's silicone free, fragrance free, and I just feel like this gives me a soft hydration, blurs my pores, and also controls my oils. I have fallen in love with this. This is what I've been using literally every single day, but again, I did just try out the Peace Out, and I like it so far, so I feel like I really need to do like a crazy battle. I did do a battle with the Glowish and the Cali Ray just on my own time. And I do think that the Glowish was slightly more smooth throughout the day, but I am curious to keep testing the piece out and put it up against my other smoothing primers. But I have to say there's so many nice smoothing primers right now at Sephora. So I definitely recommend the Glowish and I'm excited to keep trying out the piece out. 
Next up, I picked up a new mascara that I've been hearing rave reviews about, and this is from Tower 28. So this is their new Make Waves mascara, and this is interesting because it has a really prickly wand or plastic wand, the ones that sort of poke your eye, and it does have a bend to it, which I do tend to like. I've used this a couple times. Today I have obviously false lashes on, but this is one of those that gives you a lot of length very quickly, but it can get clumpy. So I feel like this is one that I would probably mix with a volumizing one, just so I can get that volume without getting clumpy. I've only used this a couple times, so I have to keep testing it out. But I mean, a little goes a long way, and I feel like I had length almost immediately. So many people are raving about this, so I fell into the hype and picked it up, and I'm excited to keep trying it. I have a couple repurchases that I always pick up during these events. The first being the Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade 5.75, so I'm wearing this right now mixed with a little bit of my NARS. This is one of my favorite mixing foundations because it has a glow, but it still has like a good medium coverage, and I like that it can give me a little bit of that radiance or skin-like finish, but it doesn't look heavy or greasy or break apart. I can also wear it alone, but I do tend to mix it with a matte foundation. That's just my preferred method and I usually do end up mixing a matte with something a little bit more luminous, but this is one of those foundations that just honestly has been in my collection for years. I've gone through multiple bottles of this because it really is just one of those staple formulas for me. And then you know that I wasn't going to not repurchase my Too Faced. This is my favorite lip balm ever. The Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. I got watermelon, that's my favorite. I do still have have quite a few around my house, but I am getting low on one of them, which is my watermelon, but I have literally like every flavor. This is just so hydrating. It coats your lips. It doesn't have a bad taste. They smell incredible. My lips actually feel hydrated. I use this every time before I do my makeup and then every night before bed. My favorites are the watermelon, the banana, and the mango. And this one actually has a really pretty pink tint. So I tend to really like that because it gives me just a little bit of a tint to my lips. It's not overly shiny or anything like that. It's more of just this like thick, I don't know, balm that coats your lips, but it gives you this gorgeous pink flush. So this is something I will never be without, and I was getting low on one of them, so I repurchased it. Speaking of a pretty pink flush on the lips, I did purchase another of the Dior Lip Shines. I believe that's what these are called, but these are just gorgeous, balmy lipsticks that are so shiny, but they also have pigment. So I picked up 373, which is Rose Celestial. The packaging is interesting. You kind of pull the top from here, and then the lipstick comes out. These are very, very high shine, but they have a pigment. So they're essentially like a lipstick with a balmy feel. I love this color. I'm all about baby pinks, you guys know this. So this is a gorgeous, just pink flush on the lips. I have another lipstick in this formula, but it's more of like a nudie peach, and I do tend to really like a pink look on my lips. So I went ahead and grabbed this, and I'm very happy with the shade. So I picked up an eye cream because honestly, I need to be better about using my eye creams under my makeup. I do tend to put eye cream on my lids because they do get dry from the tret that I use in my skincare, but I really wanted to try something and I wanna to stick to it for every day under my makeup. So I got this Sephora Collection Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream. Of course, this is really affordable, and then you can get 30% off Sephora Collection right now, which is a steal. This is also unscented, which I like. So it says to apply AM and PM on clean, dry skin, pat around the eye. So far, I'm really enjoying this eye cream. I like the texture of it. It's not overly thick or heavy, but it does feel hydrating. I like that it doesn't have a scent to it, so it's not going to sting. And most importantly, it lays beautifully under makeup. It doesn't bunch up or crease or just lift, which is something that I've dealt with with a lot of different eye creams, and it's super affordable, so I'll have to see, you know, over time if I do think that it really brightens, but I'm more so looking for something just to make me look nice and smooth and hydrated. Speaking of hydrated, you guys know my love for the brand K-Skin. I have, I think, three products from the brand, but I really love the lip 
bomb the most. But I wanted to try this out. There's a few more products from K-Skin that I'm interested in. This is a black owned brand as well. So I picked up the Deep Water Hydrating and Soothing Body Cream. This is huge. I did not realize how large this would be, but I actually like the packaging because I really don't prefer to dig my hands into like body butter jars or anything like that. So I like that it's a squeezy tube and I did use this on my hands. It comes out quite thick, but it rubs together really nicely and it's very light. Like I don't feel that I have a thick, heavy cream on. It just gives you this light hydration. It really does absorb in, which is nice. I also don't like when I feel super sticky. And it has a really light scent. It says on here, it has sort of like a citrus vanilla scent. It's very light though, so it's not going to compete with your perfume or anything like that. I really wanna try more from this brand. She has some products that are more like SPF or body oil, which I feel like are probably going to be more useful for me personally in the summertime, but this is something that I would use all winter because my skin gets so incredibly dry living in the Midwest. We're going into the cold months, which I really am not thrilled about, and I need to do better at using lotion. I like that this doesn't feel heavy at all, so I'm curious to use this more, but I like that it's not overly scented, and I really like that I don't have to dig my fingers in to get the product out. Another new makeup launch a lot of you were asking me to test out. I picked up one of the lipsticks from Freck Beauty. So this is the Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick, and I got the shade Muse. So I'm wearing a little today. I did put some gloss over top. This is a very soft, light formula. I mean, it really does feel almost like powder, but it almost has a little bit of a silicone feel to it, if that makes sense. Like it's very thin and almost slips a little bit, so it's not drying. I like this shade too because it is just like a really, almost like my lips but better type of shade. So I'm interested to keep trying this, but I feel like it's one of those that will last longer than a typical creamy lipstick because it has that powdery feel to it, but it didn't feel drying at all on my lips. Very, very, very thin. So it's a good one, I think, to layer other stuff on top, like a gloss without it getting super goopy and I do like the shade I think so far there's only like four shades but of course I went with you know the pinky light nude the last makeup product I picked up I own a lot of these shades but there was two new ones recently that I did not pick up and I was kind of looking through all of the new blushes and I was like you know what this is different from my collection I need to try it it looks gorgeous on the models so I picked up the say beauty this is their dew blush in the shade chili so this is like a almost like purple mauve tone. It's a little bit deeper than I typically go for. It looked so gorgeous on the model. Now this formula is really dewy for me personally. It still will go over powder. I just use a beauty blender to apply it with a really light pressure, but that actually looks way more approachable for my skin tone than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be really deep, almost like a deep mauve, but this is translating more of like a really pretty pink with a purple undertone. Definitely a dewier formula than I typically go for, but there is something really beautiful about the Say formula if you like dewy but you don't like thick. It's a very thin formula and it's not overly pigmented so you can kind of build it up. So I'm actually happy that I picked this up because I really thought it was gonna be a little bit too deep for me but there was something about the promo photos that really drew me in and swatching it here now, I think I'm really gonna like this. And lastly, to finish off this haul, I did restock on a product that I always always keep in my shower, which is the Olaplex Purple Shampoo. This is my favorite. I have gone through so many bottles of this. It is very intense. You only need to leave it on for like a minute or two, and it can stain your hands, so you really want to make sure that you're washing your hands directly after using it, but this just lathers beautifully. It doesn't dry my hair out as much as some other formulas do. I just love how quick and effective this is. I really have to use this maybe once a week, and I do leave it on for maybe like two minutes, and I'm good to go. So it's just really convenient and quick for me. I will never be without this. 
Okay guys, so that is everything I picked up in my first order for the Sephora holiday savings event. I already know I'm going to be making multiple orders. So look out for another haul coming. I will link everything that I talked about today down below in my description box. I would also love to know what you picked up during this event. Again, all the information will be down below about when you can shop, the tiers, and also a link at the top of my description box to sign up to become a Beauty Insider member. It's it's totally free and it gives you access to shop this event, so I highly recommend doing so. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.